This is Colin from Watch Off The Cuff, and today I'm going to show you how to start to finish uh, do a crystal replacement. Try to catch this in the right light. This is very scratched. It's actually from my personal collection. It was the first watch I bought um, when I was an on-the-road salesman. Um, and um, yeah, it was like a mall watch purchase. It was on sale. It's nothing fancy, Seiko 5, but uh, it's uh, been beaten up pretty good. I did refinish the bracelet recently. Um, which is why that looks good because otherwise it was pretty gnarly, but um, today we're going to do the crystal Okay, so a few tools we're going to need uh, to do this particular procedure um, First is a crystal press. I've got a fancy one um, A basic one will also do um, with various dies so that I can match the outside of the bezel in case uh, when I press the crystal in and out um, I'm going to use a uh, micrometer here. The reason why I do this is that when I'm doing repairs I want to, before I remove this crystal, because sometimes it can break on the way out, I'm going to measure the depth to make sure I've got the crystal in stock. Uh, and then, of course, I can use a pair of calipers. If the crystal comes out in one piece, I can accurately measure it. You can do it while the crystal is still in the, um, in the case, but because the top edge is beveled, sometimes it's hard to get a very accurate measurement. And the crystals are sized uh, within a tenth of a millimeter. So quite often, an accurate measurement can't be made until I actually get the crystal out of the case. Uh, uh, and next, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, pieces on the supply side, um, just in case, for example, the gasket is broken um, and you can see some of the stock that I carry uh, in terms of crystals. All right, so just in case the gasket uh, on the crystal is damaged, which it probably won't be uh, since the crystal is intact, but sometimes they come to the shop and they're split or they're broken and sometimes the sharp edge of the crystal will damage that gasket. Um, here is an assortment of eye rings um, and this is what they look like. It's just a clear... Uh, uh, plastic ring that's got a little bit of a profile to it kind of a V profile anyway if we have to replace it we can use that and then next depending on the um, uh, thickness of the of the crystal in this case this is an assortment let me just say it's just off camera uh, 1.5 millimeter then I can go through and pick out the correct um, crystal size to be put back into the uh, into the case in case I forget to say it later even though these are a nice clean packaging, before I put the crystal into, the new crystal into the watch, I uh, do more than just wipe these. I'll go and I'll separately clean them um, to make sure they're as absolutely clean as I possibly can. I find that sometimes the manufacturing, even though they're supposed to come clean, there's a little bit of a haze to them. And once it's in the case, and when you inspect it before I, for example, return it to a customer, you're gonna be chasing these little tiny smudges. You're gonna try to use Rotoco to get it off. You're gonna, and you're just gonna smear it all around. You're gonna use a, a nice micro cloth you're gonna be working on. It. So just the cleanest it could possibly be going in, the better it is for you later on. Okay, let's start by getting the bracelet off this watch. And then we can start on the rest of the process. There we go. So now we're going to take this over to um, the press and we'll open up the back. All right, so we'll use the Hortec Maxi Press to. Uh, Take off the case back. Get away from me there. Wow, that was barely on there. Good thing I haven't taken that thing swimming in a while. Okay, we're just gonna see if we can loosen the uh, retaining ring a little bit here, which in this case is integrated with the movement itself. Just careful not to mar the threads. We'll just give it a little start there. Now what we'll do is we'll take this other uh, case cushion. We're gonna put it this way here. We're gonna gently flip it over, give it a little tap, and out it comes. So what we'll do See finger cots on, we're just gonna place it in the tray here, cover that up, and we now have just the case. Now, let's get the crystal press and get that old crystal out. So this next step uh, isn't 100% uh, necessary, but just in case it's a very odd crystal, I just like to uh, measure the crystal while it's still in there, especially if there's only a faint crack. Um, uh, if I press out the crystal when it breaks, 
um, and I can't get the kind of crystal or the that is contained in the watch itself, um, now I'm in big trouble. So at least this way I can just do a quick check. You can see here I've got 1.1 millimeters. I'll check in a couple other places. 1.1, 1.1. Great. So then we know uh, we will replace it with, in this case, a one millimeter crystal. Okay, now we need to appropriately size the dies. Uh, crystal press kits come with a number of um, a number of sizes, um, and typically they're labeled in metric or millimeters, what they are. So um, if I I can kind of feel the crystal sit down a little bit. I want to make sure that the end of the die is around the outside of the bezel. So when we press it out, I've got clearance to push the crystal out. And I want to make sure I can push uh, the crystal out through here. So in this case, if we go over here, we're going to see that's going to give us what we need. I want to go as close to the edges as I possibly can. If I press with a small die out the middle, I can crack the crystal. And it makes a mess. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So what we'll do is we'll put this on the bottom side. on the top. Turn it around here, get it all lined up. And you just need gentle pressure. There it comes. So now that we have the crystal out, we do a couple of things. Number one, I'll check it for size. So we have a 30 millimeter crystal. I'm going to inspect the gasket. The gasket looks amazing. Before I put the crystal back in, I'm gonna take some Rotoco and go all the way around there and make sure there's no dirt. Cause what happens, dirt does get around that top little edge. It tends to be slightly recessed. Uh, so I'm gonna do a quick clean on that. I'm gonna get a crystal. I'm gonna wash it thoroughly so that it's absolutely as clean as I possibly can. And then we're gonna uh, put the uh, new crystal into the watch. All right, I have got the crystal here, I've taken out of the package, I've cleaned it, and I have a cloth that I reserve only to uh, give the um, crystals a final polish, and then it goes back in its package, and uh, I just reserve it just for that. I'm telling you that if you can keep it as clean as possible from the very get-go, it's gonna save you a lot of trouble. So we're gonna put it there. Now, uh, there is a beveled side and a non-beveled side. So in this case, hold up here, how close can I get? Probably can't see it. Anyway, this top has got a slightly beveled edge here, and then this other side here is just a straight corner. So we'll make sure we have the bevel uh, side up so that when it sits in the case, we have the bevel on the top here that's gonna um, uh, be outward facing. So uh, the same die we can use in the, in the bottom, that matches the case very well. And then in this case, we have a, a 30 millimeter, um, if I put it in frame, would be nice, uh, a 30 millimeter crystal. So I'm gonna use a 29 uh, millimeter die up top to press the crystal in. Now what I also do, try not to touch this at all, I'll give it one last wipe is I will uh, position and just start to get the crystal started before I place it in the, um, in the press, just to make sure, just gonna make sure I've got the correct bevel edge up, which I do. I'm gonna place it here. And I'm just gonna go this way here. I'm just gonna just gently place it and just see if I can just slightly get it started. Great, so I'm gonna hold that there. Straight as I can. Now this is a very good press, so it, it's, it's very, um, uh, you know, parallel, but I do find that it does move just a little bit. And I find that on this side, it tends to press down a little further on this end. So I usually uh, index it around a little bit and just make sure that it's seated all the way around. Hopefully my hand isn't in the way too much there. And away we go. So now we have the uh, crystal installed. So now we can go back to recasing uh, the movement and uh, putting it all back together. 
All right, so we have the crystal back in the case now. I'm gonna grab the movement out here from my tray. Let's put that onto a separate case cushion. So now uh, we can, it's like pick, pick a cushion, Colin. All right, here we go, so we're another here. I'm gonna gently place it in. I'm already forgetting a step. I'm just gonna quickly blow out the case. On there, just make sure there's nothing on here. I have to get a quick visual loop, make sure there's no dust on there. All right, and then we can line this up. Make sure we wind it up as close as we can. I'm not going to press it all the way in yet. I'm going to flip it over. And what I want to check here is I want to check where the crown. Um, uh, meets the movement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on the movement itself and I'm going to check to make sure I've got it the right way around. And guess what? I don't. It's upside down. Crown's this side. <laughs> All right, so we're going to light it up again. I'm going to turn it over. Again, it's not sitting fully pressed down in the uh, in the movement yet. So I'm going to do a visual check. Let's see how it sits in there. And it looks lined up pretty well. So I'll grab this screwdriver again and take a quick look. So I'm just making a slight adjustment. There we go. And then what we can do is take this polyamide tool, put it back in the tray before I lose it, and I'm going to gently go around and press down Move this out of the way. And gently press down on the ring. Just going to make sure, again, visual check to make sure it's lined up to receive the crown and stem. Check to push. Just flat push in the center, make sure it's all the way down is I'm going to reinsert the crown back in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this gasket and I'll give it a quick clean and re-lubricate it before we put it back together so I'm just going to take some rotico first I'm going to go all around the side and flip it over do the same thing in a recent container. I'm going to take some Rotoco and I'm just going to check to make sure this seat is clean. While I've got it open, I'm going to use a cloth. I'm going to wipe the inside just in case. Okay, let me do the same thing with the rotical. I'm just going to go around this seat here, just make sure there's no dirt. It's pretty clean, but just want to make sure. There we go. Put the gasket back. Just gently hand tighten that. I'm just going to hand tighten that. I'm going to make sure everything looks like it's running free. There it is. I'm going to turn it over. Before I crank that down, I'm going to give that a close, close inspection and make sure that um, there are no smudges uh, on the inside of the glass and that uh, there are no specks or any other dirt that while I had the, um, the movement and dial out of the case that it got, it looks very, very good. We did give it a final blow before we put it together. So, uh, next step is we'll take it back to the uh, Maxi Press um, by Hortag again. We'll crank down the back and then we can put the bracelet back on. And this is done. Okay, back at the Maxi Press. We'll flip this over. Line up the jaws. A 
lot of leverage here. So we're looking for firm, but not overly tight. Flip it around, looking good. Let's get the bracelet back on and give this a final close-up inspection. All right, here's the final result. Brand new crystal. Sure, the case is a little worse for wear. I've had it for a long time. Probably while I had the movement decased and the crystal out, I probably could have uh, done a refinish on that bezel. But for now, I like it the way it is. It's okay to me that it's lived a life. Um, and uh, it looks a lot better now with a brand new crystal.